Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to the WrestleMania 33 prediction video. Uh, we have 13 matches on this 77-hour uh, event. And uh, we're going to start which, with the kickoff show. Uh, there was three matches, but I guess they took the Alexa Bliss versus everybody match off and uh, put it on the main show, because it was on the kickoff show. Uh, but we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And it's it's either going to come down to three people winning. Sami Zayn, Braun Strowman, or Big Show. I assume Braun Strowman's going to win. But with Big Show's uh, Shaq match getting canceled. And uh, this potentially being his uh, last WrestleMania. And probably his retirement match. I could see Big Show winning. And then Sami Zayn, uh, it would just be cool to see him win, you know? But I'm going to go with Braun Strowman on this one. Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, they have had so many champions in so little time. Like, this is their fourth champion. And the uh, division's only been around since, like, SummerSlam. I want Austin Aries to win, but I could see them not having him win. But I'm going to pick Austin Aries to win. Alexa, B Alexa Bliss versus all available women. Uh, right now in the match, it's Natalia, Becky Lynch, Mickey James, Carmella, uh, Naomi, and I think that's it. And then Alexa, and I think that's it. But there's possibly uh Kelly Kelly and Eve Torres being in it uh apparently Lita was rumored for it as well so yeah but I could see them having Alexa Bliss win and then Naomi versus Alexa at payback or it, I, I don't know if payback's the next one or not for them but the next pay-per-view I could see them having Naomi beat her for it uh the club versus enzo and Cass versus Sh cesaro and sheamus in a tag team triple threat ladder match end zone cast i i have end zone cast winning uh it would be big for them everybody wants to see them win and having them do it at wrestlemania would be huge for them so yeah i got end zone cast uh the ladder match is going to be pretty cool. Apparently, there's not... I don't want to say this because I don't want to sound stupid if it doesn't happen. But there's rumors that the Hardys are going to get involved with this match. I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. But Enzo and Cass are going to win this match. Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin. As much as I love Dean Ambrose, Baron Corbin is winning this match and becoming your new Intercontinental Champion. He is on the rise to be something big. He could easily get the WWE Championship with within a year. Maybe. Depending on storyline. Uh, with At least within two years. At, at two years, he could easily get the WWE Championship. So, Dean Ambrose is going to drop this title and put Baron Corbin over big. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't stay a normal match and they add like no DQ because it would only make sense storyline wise for these two to be in a no DQ match for the title. Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. Chris Jericho is rumored to be leaving within a month. Uh, so I could see Kevin Owens winning. Then his Chris Jericho's last match or so will be at the next pay per view when he tries to get it back and he won't. And Kevin Owens will be your new United States Champion. It's that's just, it makes sense. It sounds, sounds good. Uh, Bailey versus Charlotte versus Sasha versus Nia for the women's championship in a fatal four elimination match. Uh, I honestly don't know who's going to win this match. I can see Sasha Banks turning heel on Bailey, but then there's three heels and Bailey, and then you got Dana who's also a heel. And that's the entire Raw Women's Division, I'm pretty sure. So, I maybe 
Charlotte wins, maybe. But I'm going to pick Charlotte. I'm going to pick Charlotte. Uh, Sasha is more likely going to turn heel. Uh, John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. I know that John Cena is probably going to win. But the same thing I said for the Rumble, The Miz is going to win this match. He, he needs it. John Cena is leaving. Nikki Bella is potentially her last match because she's a, 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 apparently retiring. So Miz is going to get screwed over. He's going to look stupid if he loses this match, you know? So I got I got the Miz. I got the Miz winning and beating John Cena at WrestleMania. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. Also, this match, I hope they add something to it and it's not a normal match. Because it only makes sense storyline wise for this match to have like no DQ, uh, no hold bards, uh, false count anywhere, anything like that. Uh, make it a street fight. But uh, AJ Styles is going to win this match. Uh, he lost at WrestleMania last year. Why would you want to have your best wrestler in the company lose two years in a row at WrestleMania? Why would you want that? doesn't make any sense. So AJ Styles will beat Shane McMahon. Triple H versus Seth Rollins in a non-sanctioned match. I'm pretty sure non-sanctioned match means hopefully they do it where it means anything goes. And uh, yeah. So we have Seth Rollins versus Triple H. Anything goes. Samoa Joe is going to get involved because he's not on the card. Unless he somehow gets put in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. But that doesn't make sense for him to be in there. It makes sense for him to get involved in this match. And also the Kevin Owens Chris Jericho match. He can, since he has nothing to do, he can help Kevin Owens win. And he can get involved in Triple, uh, Triple H Seth Rollins match. But Seth Rollins is going to win. Uh, I don't know if what people said was going to happen where Finn's going to come out and get involved as well when Samoa Joe comes out. It'd be pretty cool. It would be. It really would be, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But Samoa Joe is definitely going to get involved in this match. Maybe the Kevin Owens match as well, but Seth Rollins is going to eventually win. He, he He's going to. Seth Rollins is going to beat Triple H. The Undertaker... Versus Roman Reigns in the Battle of Yards. Winner takes all yards and becomes the King Gardener. Pretty pretty, pretty much, that's what that match is about. Um, this is potentially also the Undertaker's last match. So, I want him to win it. I do. I really do. I want Undertaker to win. But I can accept a Roman Reigns victory if he turns heel. That's not going to happen. So Undertaker is going to beat Roman Reigns. Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. I do not want Randy Orton to win this. I want Bray Wyatt to win it because if you have Bray Wyatt lose... What the hell are you doing with him? You're just transitional champion for Randy Orton to be champion at WrestleMania and walk. Why? That's stupid. Bray Wyatt deserves this. He's lost every WrestleMania match he's been involved with, I think. So why would you not want uh, Randy Orton to lose, you know? Bray Wyatt is going to win. And then Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Goldberg's contract is up uh, apparently at after like right after WrestleMania. Like the minute WrestleMania ends, his contract's up, apparently. So obviously Brock Lesnar is gonna win. Unless he gets a contract extension, then it could go either way. But obviously Brock Lesnar is gonna win this match. He's gonna walk out. Universal Champion and him and Roman Reigns are going to fight over it for the year because apparently uh, WrestleMania 34's main event is Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. So, as long as, unless that changes, Brock Lesnar's going to win. I don't want Brock Lesnar to win. I don't want Goldberg to have the championship. I don't want either one of these two to have the championship. 
but it's not my decision. So Brock Lesnar is going to win, Goldberg is going to leave, and WrestleMania will be over, and then we'll go to the Raw after WrestleMania and the SmackDown after WrestleMania. It's going to be a good show, and uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully, doesn't end poorly with no Roman Reigns heel turn, but winning, because that would be bad. That'd be very bad. And as far as I know, they don't even know the order of the matches yet. That was just on the website. Uh, I'm pretty sure they they're changing Roman Reigns and Undertaker to be the last match. So, don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And also, one last prediction. I have Bobby Roode beating Shinsuke Nakamura to retain his title and then Shinsuke getting called up soon. Potentially. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Camp Counselor Cody and I'll see you guys next time. Doodles.